Good afternoon. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to enlighten you on many of the processes that go on in the poultry industry, specifically the different types of houses and the different purposes the houses and birds serve to produce the best chickens most Americans enjoy on a daily basis. To put things in perspective of just how big the poultry industry is, Alabama is ranked number two in the nation, bringing in $15 billion in revenue per year, falling just behind Georgia that brings in $18.4 billion in revenue. Poultry accounts for 60% of Alabama's agricultural revenue. What came first, the chicken or the egg? For the purposes of this speech, we're going to start with the egg. There are two different types of eggs when discussing the poultry industry. The first of those being table eggs, which are unfertilized and eventually end up in the refrigerated section of grocery stores. Each hen lays an egg roughly around every 27 hours. That can equal up to 324 eggs per year, with counties such as Coleman, Marshall, Coffee, and DeKalb ranking highest in Alabama's poultry production they have over 1.7 million laying hens. If each of those hens laid 324 eggs per year, then that would equal 550.8 million table eggs to be produced in just one year. The next eggs come from breeder houses, which will be discussed in more detail later on in the speech. The eggs that come from breeder houses are fertilized and then sent to a hatchery where they can be placed in an incubator, incubator for 21 days in which everything from temperature, light, humidity, and rotation are calculated and controlled. After the eggs hatch, they are then sent to their specific farms, which brings me to my next point, the different types of farms or houses. The first type of house is a pullet house. This is where some of the freshly hatched chickens go when they leave the hatchery. Pullet farms are mostly made up of females and they will stay there until they reach egg laying maturity, which is around 20 weeks. From there, some of the hens will go to laying houses. This is where the table eggs are produced. Throughout the years, laying hens have been specifically bred to be the best layers they can be. Laying hens will stay at the houses until they no longer lay eggs and then they will be sent to the processing plant to be used for meat consumption. Next on the list are breeder houses. These houses are made up of both roosters and hens that are at reproductive maturity. Breeder farms are what produce the fertilized eggs that are sent to the hatchery to then start the process all over again. Both in these houses, there is one rooster to every 10 females. Both males and females stay at these houses for roughly 22 to 24 weeks, and then they are also sent to the processing plant. Lastly are the broiler houses. Broiler farms are made up of male chickens that come directly from the hatchery at only a few days old. They get to skip the pullet house. These chickens are kept until they reach the right weight that the contracted company desires. For example, some farms may grow a six pound chicken and other farms may grow anywhere from a 10 to 12 pound chicken. This is where most of the meat comes from that we buy at grocery stores. After they reach the correct weight, they are then taken to the processing plant. Once at the processing plant, many steps are taken to make sure we are consuming the best products, whether that be chicken nuggets, chicken breast, or even a whole bird. Americans consume around 85 pounds of chicken each year per person. So, as you can see, all of the components of the poultry industry play such a big role, not just in Alabama, but in the agricultural world in general. The United States are among the top three poultry, produce, poultry producers in the world, along with China and Brazil. However, as an economic standpoint, the poultry industry in Alabama employs more than 86,000 people in farms, processing plants, and allied industries such as hatcheries. Thank you. Very good.